welcome back. Uh, today I'm actually going to be covering the topic of aromatic dressing and making your own perfumes. Now this is a huge topic, so I'm not going to make it a very long video, I'm going to sort of condense it into a couple of points here. But just uh, watch this space because I will be expanding and doing a lot more make your own perfumes and maybe even holding some workshops in the near future, so stay tuned. Now if you've never heard of aromatic dressing, basically all that means is that you pop some oils and some carrier oil in a little dressing bowl like this. Now these can be found on eBay, just Google aromatic dressing bowl, you'll find some. My beautiful niece Megan gave me this as a gift, so thank you Megan. Um, and every morning, the idea is that you feel how you, sense how you feel, perhaps you're feeling a bit down, so you might need some citrus notes to lift your spirits. Perhaps you're feeling like you need a bit of motivation, so you can use the Motivate blend, or perhaps you're feeling, you know, perhaps you just had a shower at night, you want to get your groove on and a bit of passion, so you can use the passion blend. Um, so there's, basically you sense how you feel, pop some carrier oil in the bowl, and then add your essential oils, and then basically you just slather that all over yourself, really massage it in, Really be present while you're doing that. Inhale the, the, the beautiful perfumes, you know, massage your body, and a little bit of lymphatic drainage as well because the massaging does that. And that's the idea, that's basically the, the very general idea of aromatic dressing. Now, when you're making your own perfumes, the trick that um, um, my beautiful boyfriend actually, Darren, actually came up with this idea, which is just amazing. He's full of amazing ideas, this man. When I was making perfumes in the past, I was just going and finding recipes putting 15, 20 drops of this, that and the other and just hoping that I like the smell and rolling it on and going, that really smells like rubbish on me and I've just gone ahead and wasted 50 drops of essential oils. What Darren thought of is actually using the aromatic dressing bowls and doing some little t uh, testings first. So if your recipe is calling for say 15 drops of this and seven drops of that, just put two drops in and one drop of the other and mix it up in a bit of carryall and rub it on yourself and see if you like the smell. Such a more economical way of doing your perfumes before you commit to a full 10 little roll bottle. So today I'm actually going to do a, a, a cologne. So colognes typically are for men. I feel as though this could be for men or women. I personally wear this on myself. I love it. Uh, the reason why is because it has bergamot in it and bergamot is one of my all time favorite smells. I love it. I put it on at night time. I sometimes put it on just all by itself, just with some carry oil on my skin. It just makes me feel happy. It's a great citrus. I really highly recommend that you get some and try it out. So this recipe, as I said, is a men's cologne traditionally, but I wear it for myself. Test it out in your, uh, your aromatic dressing bowl first, or if you're really brave and you just live on the edge, then just follow this recipe and go for it. So if you've never made your own roll-on perfumes before, it's really easy. It is simply a carrier oil and your essential oils. The end. You let it sit for 24 to 48 hours just so that the oils can really sort of permeate in there, and then go for your life and start rolling it on. So this recipe is 15 drops of bergamot, fifteen drops of lime, seven drops of frankincense, and seven drops of sandalwood. And you will find with men's colognes, sandalwood is usually a bit of a hero. It's a beautiful, earthy, masculine scent. It's gorgeous. Fill up the rest of your bottle with essential, essential oil, with carrier oil. I'm using sweet almond. A lot of people use fractionated coconut oil, jojoba oil, whatever you've got on hand. Just make sure it's of really good quality. And don't fill it all the way up to the top, guys. Just up to the neck of the bottle, where it sort of starts to bend. It gives you a bit of a room to shake it as well. Pop the cap on. Your lid on. Now you can make your own label as well. Give it a good shake. And as I said, let that sit for 24 to 48 hours. Really let the perfume develop. Now my one last tip for today, guys. I had this epiphany the other day. If you're like me and you go through a lot of essential oils, you have all of these little bottles that just you know go to waste every you know month or two. You're throwing them away. It's a bit of a waste. What I like to do, so going back to the aromatic dressing, because I do do that every morning after my morning shower, is I actually make a fairly big batch 
and again, I'm not. I guess I'm not really. I'm anticipating what I will feel like in the morning, so it's not quite the, you know, whole idea of aromatic dressing is to you know sense how you feel that morning. But for me, in the mornings, I love to go citrus. I love to go sort of that fresh zingy to give me a bit of a lift, make me feel those happy, beautiful scents, and take me out on my day. So usually a motivation or some kind of citrus blend is what I go for every morning. This is how I roll. So I take my aromatic dressing bowl and grab the essential oils that I want, a, you know, citrusy blends of you know, lemon, lime, peppermint, um, bergamot of course, and pop them all in there and I make a fairly big batch and then I decant it into an empty bottle. So this just saves me a little bit of time in the morning because we all need to save time in the morning, right? So basically that would go in there. It can get a little bit messy but you just do it very, very carefully and you can just basically pour that in. I've put a little bit in there at the moment. And you've kind of got your own little homemade DIY body moisturizer for the, oh gosh, this will probably last at least a week. So that's just a little tip on how to use or reuse uh, your empty essential oil bottles. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully that will come in handy for you. I love to recycle, so keep that in mind and let me know what you think of this cologne. Maybe try it out on your man and see if he likes it. Um, for me, I don't know if Darren's going to get a look in, I'll probably use this for myself, but I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let me know how you go. If you've got any other favourite perfume recipes, please share them with me because I'm always open to making more. So until next time guys, take care. Bye.